Broken in the next few minutes as teams hope to hear their names on CBS. It is going to be a great couple of weeks ahead. We hope you enjoy it with us. And thank you for joining us here on Capital One Tournament Central. I'm Adam Zucker in New York. Get your brackets ready. Now, out of Mountain West, the number seven seed, the Lobos of New Mexico. It's beautiful. I mean, I'm blessed to have this opportunity to be around all these great guys and coaches and especially the fans and the community that came out. Was this the goal when you transferred to San Diego State? Was it about what the, this is what five straight now for Steve Fisher's Aztecs? Was this the goal and the reason behind the transfer? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, be on a winning team, uh, be able to get to the NCAA tournament and make a long run. Yeah, it definitely is. You know, all the hard work, all the games, you know, it all it all leads to this. You know, we, we achieved our first goal of winning the conference championship, so now uh, it's time to make this run in the tournament. I feel as though this Aztecs team is playing with a little bit of momentum offensively and defensively going in. 
Yeah, I think uh, the last few games of the season, uh, the conference tournament, we really started started uh, getting back to our defense and, and our offense got a lot better. Uh, you know, I think we have a lot of momentum going into the tournament. How do you defend a guy who's 7'6"? They, they have two seven-footers in that team on New Mexico State. Uh, you know, you just do the best you can. We've done a decent job against big guys this year. It's not like we haven't faced them, so we got experience with it, so we'll be ready. Co Coach Fisher, is there anything more rewarding and more satisfying than Selection Sunday? I told our players in the locker room beforehand, uh, it can't be fake energy and excitement, you, but you have to know that this is a privilege and not a right to play in this event. And I told them, you're not, you weren't around, but I remember our first opportunity to play in the tournament here, we went ballistic when we got in. And then when we went to the NIT, we went crazy to get in the NIT. And we're in our fifth straight year in the NCAA tournament. But you still get goosebumps when you walk out in anticipation of where you're going to go, who you're going to play, and that sort of thing. So I was like our kids. I was uh, nervous, excited, and, and now I'm anxious. Can you talk even anything about your opponent, Steve? Do you know anything about uh, New Mexico, Mexico State? State? Well, most people know. Marvin Menzies, the head coach at New Mexico State, was on my original staff at San Diego State. He's a great friend. I've watched him play several times. We, we talk regularly. So Marvin and I talked a couple weeks ago, and I'm sure we'll talk again, saying we wish we didn't have to play one another, uh, but we'll be com competitors for, for one game. On his staff is one of my first recruits, Eric Sanders. Eric is a is a part of his staff, so there'll be a San Diego State connection when we play Marvin and in New Mexico State, uh, and we will look forward to the challenge. They're, they got they got the twin towers. I think they got two kids, brothers that are one seven six and one about seven two. Uh, so they're good. They're a good team. How rewarding is a day like today? Uh, it's it's fun. It feels good. But uh, like, like I've said all season, we don't want just making the tournament to be our highlight. You know, we want to go deep in the tournament. How do you feel about momentum? How do you feel about this team as you guys prepare? You played a very, very tough game, of course, against, against New Mexico. But how, does, how do you guys feel as a team as far as momentum goes going on the road? Uh, well, we feel good. We feel we, we, we've been playing great basketball. Of course, yesterday was a tough loss for us. But as I stated before, you know, all season we've put ourselves in a position where we didn't have to have yesterday's win to be, just to get in the tournament. So uh, we feel good about it. I think we're peaking at the right time, and uh, we're going to be ready to play Thursday. Real exciting. You know, I'm blessed to be a part of it. This is my third year, third, third straight year. So it's just ble I'm just blessed, and we're all excited to be playing in Spokane and get to a uh, good New Mexico State team. Is it the same excitement you had your very first year as, as a player with, with the Aztecs? Nah, my first year I was real, real excited. You know, the second year I was excited. I was excited today as well, but my first year, nothing can compare to the first year and my first time seeing my name called. So I was really excited my first year. It's different now that you know what to expect and you're the older guy in the team that players look forward to as to what to expect and and how it's really about single elimination yeah you know i've been through it all you know uh, the ups and downs so i kind of know what to expect so when guys haven't been there like josh and akil and the freshman you know i could kind of know tell them what uh, they need to expect for the ncaa tournament and just that you're healthy this year other than last year you had to struggle through some injuries it it must be a much different feeling for you going in oh yeah most definitely you know i've just been blessed all year you know god kept me healthy you know, I'm just ready to get out there and play against New Mexico State. What do you know about New Mexico State, and how long will it take for you guys to get a DVD in your hands and start getting ready? Uh, I don't know anything, but I'll know about tonight because we're all going to get DVDs probably right after this. And I know they got a 7-5 kid on their team, a center, so we got to be ready for him. But so we'll be yeah 7-5 kids, so we'll be ready for them. Our coaching staff has been uh, good all year, so we'll be ready.